thick and far. But and he knows that Mac has a bad matchup spread. But he's doing his best to make to make sure that he can eventually swap over as a Lucina main. But he is still really good with Mac. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, game Very one here, we're having Lucina versus Peach on Smashville. Now, I haven't seen this matchup very often, but I would imagine that Peach sort of gets walled out by those disjointed hitbox. Yeah, but Peach can also wall out really well. She, she, can, just bait, she can just bait out Lucina's moves or, and or call out her options, like Saj is doing right now, with a really strong lead at 63%. Uh, yeah, Peach bread, does want to be start in, that in that area, sort of uh, at a 45 degree or 60 degree angle from the, the opponent, to sort of catch their options. Lucina and Mark, though, characters that do have up tilt and forward air to combat that. Oh, and the shield, shield breaker. It, is it going to take it? No. No, it doesn't. He should have pushed him to the very edge of the stage. But Wonder nice, Bread, keep him nice off stage, guy. adding up a lot of percent right here. That shield break is definitely going to bring Wonder Bread back into this game. Not yeah, but, the, but a lot of shield pressure coming from Sash himself. Sash is doing really good with these float cancels and just his floats in general. He's making his movement options really obscure and making it to where it's hard to actually forward react to anything. The stock. forward air looking like that. DI is going to take that first stock. Wonder Bread taking a sip. Getting the grab, putting Peach off stage in a bad position. Forward smash missing there. Getting clipped with the parasol. Parasol. Yeah, Peach's upbeat does a really nice job of helping her recover. You have, to have, you have to have really specific timing and spacing um, to actually hit Peach with the two frame. Much slower, but a little bit like the Dolphin Smash here from Lucina. Yeah, down Wonder tilt, putting him in another bad situation. Kong out of down tilt, and Wonder Bread just trying to go for these grabs on ledge and keep on putting Sasha in a bad state. Sasha pulling up the, hat, the smiley face right before he gets forward aired off stage, and the smiley face is gone. Just gonna like I clip so you're that. Gonna play next. All right. Saj Very is sitting at a here. really strong 150% here, max rage. You can get killed by that forward air near ledge now. Very struggling to take the stock very Yeah, Saj is just doing a really good job at staying out of of Lucina's burst range. And just using moves to get just using moves which keep him out of those really bad situations. But Wonder Bread able to power shield and take that first stock with the up throw. Very strong against. kill option at those higher percents. Around 150, 160. Yeah, Wonderbread calling up. Yeah. Wonderbread's just trying to get something started here, sitting at 84%, only getting a couple of hitches, hits on Peach. <laughs> but Saj is just doing such a good job with all these turnips and all of these edge guards. He is keeping Wonderbread in a really bad disadvantaged state. Up smash, shield pressure coming out from Saj. Saj might be looking to break the shield now. Yeah, you're seeing the side B. And the backer is going to wow. take that first game. Instant float cancel back air. Very crisp. Yeah, Saj's float. Sasha's, Sasha's float cancels and movement as Peach is so good. That, like, this is what Peach main should be looking to be doing. Just having a lot of weird movement and mix up options because of your floats and mixing up all the time. And you can't keep. Hmm? Tag Ruffin, please. Oh, that rough okay. conversation. Yeah. Okay, match. Yeah, okay. Right, moving on to game two. Wonder Bread pulling out the Little Mac. And we got Ruffian coming on stream. All right, Wonder Bread, Saj, let's get into it. How was the first game? I was uh, playing The first game, Wonder Bread went Lucina, and Saj took it convincingly, living up to about 170% before actually dying. What stage did they play on? They played on Smashville because Wonder Bread went Lucina. Oh. And now Wonder Bread switching to Mac. Trying to stick to his guns and get what, get something done here, but this is known to be a notoriously bad matchup somewhere along the lines of 60-40 for Little Mac. And so, yeah, because Peach's floats are just so good at canceling what Mac does, that was probably not supposed to be a forward air. Yeah. I was like, what does Mac even have as an anti-air option? Like, pivot up tilt, maybe? Like Armor, that's about all. But the oh! down tilt KO punch, gonna take the first stock. So, such a quick, <laughs> solid reaction from Yeah, it's a really Wonder solid reaction too. from Wonder Bread. Because that seems like a really small percent window for a floated character like Peach. Uh, it, it's still a pretty... Yeah, it is actually a pretty small window because Peach does have the floatiness to get out of it. 
Sasha's is just behind Wonder Bread in a really bad situation. He can go off stage and with the ledge from back here, we're going to take that second stock. We're going to take the first stock. First stock. Excuse me. Never be afraid of Tommy. And this is the scary part of having to play against a character like Peach with Mac, is that you're great on the ground, and she's not really on it. Like, yeah, Peach is, yeah, Peach's, yeah, Peach's, yeah, Peach's, yeah, Peach's, Peach's flow just cancels out a lot of Mac's viable <laughs> options, and now Mac, Mac has to take some pretty hefty commitments to actually start stuff against Peach. The side, or the neutral special, trying to start something with the heavy armor on that, but it's not a very good move for starting things with, especially on a aerial character such as Peach. Yeah, especially as looking for these ooh, things. As Form of anti -air, buddy. Great up angle forward, oh, forward smash. Wonder Bread just Wonder Bread just has a percent lead, and he's just gonna move around, keep Sash out of his range. Yeah. Uh -oh, uh -oh. And Sash so, so catching the roll, trying to put Wonder Bread in a bad position. Wonder Bread in the air. Oh, the tipper up, the tipper up smash, almost taking it. Skill. Can you feel the power of Jonathan Sider? No, stay on this, come on, stay on this. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh I'm missing the oh, coverage, but Sasha's missing the punish, too. Skill's gone. Starting his bear a little early, and he doesn't quite clean up for it. Oh, and now we Doc put him off stage. He's got a turn. in a bad position off stage, and now Sasha's going to try and use the floats to... Sasha's going to stick to the floats, try and keep him out. Oh, no, that cl the turn clicked this time instead of trading. That's super not good for Wonder Bread. He's got a... Alright, he's got to stay yeah, on Bread, center stage. Wonderbread's got to call out something oh, really good, but the float cancel no. forward air right out that of Sasha. That's fade back Wonder forward air. And you know, Sasha, and Sasha put that in probably as soon as he started fading back, too. Oh, the yeah, one, absolutely. That peach forward air is so like, tricky because it comes out so much later that you think she's just fade, uh, waiting back a lot of the times, and then there it comes. Yeah, peach's forward air, especially with the float cancel, is just so fast and yeah. so powerful that it's just able to keep you in a really bad state, and it's almost safe on shield. Like, like, certain characters can punish it, but it's oh God, such gosh. a good move, despite its frame data, that Peach can stay out of your range, space it correctly, and it will be safe on shield. And if you let go of shield, you're going to take a hefty 15% punish, if not a death from that, because it's such a strong...